Hi, welcome to another MathWeb Paddy video, uh, where we state a nice idea or theorem in math mathematics and do an example, and we try to get it done in less than five minutes, okay? So, today what we're going to look at is, uh, again, we're going to look at limits again, okay? So, limits involving piecewise functions, okay? Limits involving piecewise functions, okay, piecewise functions, yeah, okay, so, so there's no theorem as such today, uh, so we will just do an example, uh, so we're, what we're going to look at is the limit as x approaches 3 of this function x, okay, uh, for uh, the function f of x, uh, that is a piecewise function, okay? So part of it is x squared minus 5, and then part of it is the square root of x uh, plus 13, okay? And then, so the first part is for x less than or equal to 3, and the second part is defined when x is greater than 3, okay? So, uh, from the left, from the left, okay, so what, how we approach it is that we evaluate the limit from the left-hand side, okay, uh, and then we evaluate the limit from the right-hand side. So, from the left, our function f of x, what's the function that's uh, being realized as we uh, come from below and all the way up to 3? Uh, well, that's going to be f of x is equal to x squared minus 5, okay? So we can just get the limit, okay, as x approaches 3 from the left, okay, as we get infinitely close to 3 from the left, okay? Uh, uh, so the limit of x, this will equal to the limit as x approaches 3 from the left of uh, x squared minus 5, okay, uh, and tend to evaluate that, we're getting the limit of a polynomial, so we can just sub in 3, and we will get 3 squared, uh, which is 9, and then we subtract 5, and then that is equal to 4, okay. So then the limit from the right, as x approaches 3 from the right, as we get infinitely close to 3 from the right-hand side, uh, of f of x, this is equal to the limit as x approaches 3 from the right. So from the right, we're dealing with this guy here, the square root of it, okay? So the square root of x plus 13, okay? So this is a radical. So we've done radicals in another video, so where we can bring the limit function inside of the radical, inside of the square root sign, okay? So this is equal to the square root of the limit, okay, as x approaches 3 on the right, uh, x plus 13, okay. So we can just sub in, uh, sub in 3, and uh, we will get the square root of 16, okay. So the square root of 16 is 4, okay. So basically, from the left, the limit is 4. From the right, the limit is 4. So therefore, the limit uh, as uh, 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 therefore the limit uh, uh, is the same from the left hand side and the right hand side, and therefore the limit uh, as x approaches 3 in general is defined. Okay, as x approaches 3, okay, uh, is defined for f of x. And it's just going to be equal to 4 because the left hand limit and the right hand limit are different. Okay, thanks a million, uh, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.